we're here at our new plaza planting at Mole Halls uh, with some of our the native plants that we're the most excited about. Uh, to talk about the growing conversation, the increasing amount of questions that we're getting as a company about how to incorporate more native plants into our landscapes. And I'm here with Hannah today. Hannah leads our, our growing team, um, particularly in the native plant world. And we're going to talk about them today in, in two conversations. One, um, how it relates to the, our food web, and then two, uh, a more ethical reason why we think they're important. And so to talk first about the food web, um, Hannah, uh, we were talking just earlier about that bee garden, our bee garden, and then some birds in your backyard. Right. So we planted a bee garden purposely for um, critters and insects of the world and see how they do. Um, we've noticed goldfinches on all of our echinacea species. Um, we see parasitoid wasps on our aphids and uh, great green lacewing larvae eating lots of our pests. Um, we call this our little natural refuge of our farm and it's doing great. And when you think about how delicate the balance is of you know, us so directly depending on the animals and insects and even these plants um, that were here long before us, um, it adds another I think uh, it adds more depth and even another texture to how we interact, even as home gardeners, with our landscapes. To extend that though beyond just the, I shouldn't say just the food web, obviously we wouldn't be here without it, but to talk then about, um, as, as you know, two people that have committed our careers to plants and plant things in Omaha, mm -hmm. um, how do you think about uh, kind of our participation in this food web more, say, ethically? Like what, what do we have to do as stewards? Sure. So um, with the bee garden that we've planted, it's one year old. Um, we have used no irrigation on the, this uh, bee garden this year. So the first year we planted it and we used a little bit of irrigation. Um, and I think that's important for people to understand that you don't have to water natives as much because they're meant to be here. And I think that's something that as we grow into this that people will be really excited about and start changing their lawns into native plants. And we don't mean to say that uh, native plants and only native plants, but how do we grow the conversation around what it means for us to participate in the best way possible with the natural world here and to make and hold more space for it. And I think that uh, to Hannah's point, um, there have been so many things that we weren't expecting that have happened that have been really cool the more that we get down this path. Definitely. Yeah, so what to do about it? You know, we, we would encourage uh, anyone who wants to participate in this to do so. And the fact is, it doesn't have to be that big. And at least in our experience, um, it is that interesting and it does add that much to any garden. 